Singapore Speedway is one of the tracks data mine for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. So in this video, we're going to use Mario Kart Tour to predict what route the track will take. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and comment what you think the route will be in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off going straight through the central area with some parts of the road divided. After we pass the first off-road shortcut, we come up to the Marina Bay Sands, and we'll stick to the ground level here. The road down here is once again divided, and then we'll take a ramp over the Art Science Museum, which is trickable. We'll then land on the float at Marina Bay, and then curve around back onto the Esplanade Bridge, and then begin lap 2. We'll continue straight through central area again, but this time when we get to the first off-road shortcut, we're gonna turn right into Chinatown, which has its own variant of the song. We don't know if this will be the only time we'll visit Chinatown in this race, but later on I'll have us come back here. Once again, we have a split in the road, which seems to be a running theme throughout this track. When we get out of Chinatown, we're gonna zigzag onto this road going towards the Merlion and the Marina Bay Sands. We'll glide across the water, through the Marina Bay Sands, and arrive at the gardens by the bay. This area has conveyor belts that slow you down or speed you up, and more than likely it'll be an anti-gravity section. When we get off the conveyor belts, we'll go through a narrow section on the Helix Bridge, and return to the float and make our way back to the starting line to begin lap 3. This time, however, we're gonna turn to the right and go through Chinatown backwards. That way we can at least hear the final lap variant of that song. Once we get out of Chinatown, we're gonna turn right toward the resort, and this time go out of the cannon up to the Infinity Pool. The Infinity Pool has some Goombas and floaties, and it may look shallow, but more than likely it'll be deep enough to be considered an underwater section. The reason I have the cannon on lap 3 is because the sudden distance change over a very short time will allow for very strong items to be pulled here. Since we won't be ending the race with an off-road shortcut, figured we should end it with some strong items at the end. Anyway, we're gonna glide off the top of the Infinity Pool, land back at the float, and make our way back to the finish line to end the race. So that's my predicted route for Singapore Speedway in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. When we get an actual trailer for this track, I may go back and update my prediction. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you haven't already, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and see you all next time!